If you play games on your PC, there is a good chance you already have Steam installed. And as good as it is, it does have some catches. My name is Adullah, you are watching Candidor Technology and in this video we are talking about how you can fix connection issues with Steam. So uh, there are several reasons why Steam might not work as expected. Number one of them is if there is something wrong with your internet connection. So just click on the small icon here, make sure that you are connected to the Wi-Fi or Ethernet or whatever it is that you use to access internet and then quickly head over to your web browser and run a speed test. I'm using fast.com, but uh, feel free to use Okla or any other speed test application that you prefer. So uh, as you can see, my internet's a little slow at the moment, but it's still working. 94 Mbps, 100 Mbps is more than enough for Steam to work properly. So make sure that you have an active internet connection. Uh, if you can restart your router, if you're facing any problems and then try reopening Steam. The next step is to completely force quit Steam from your system and then restarting it. To do this, press Windows key plus X to open the quick access menu and click on task manager. Let's wait for the task manager to open and here we are. All right, now uh, in the apps or background processes section, depending on whether Steam is actively running or not on your PC, search for Steam. So I'll just keep pressing S until uh, I find all of my Steam processes. Now, as you can see, I have uh, several Steam client web helpers open and I have Steam itself open. Uh, just closing the Steam process is enough. All of this should automatically shut down. So select Steam and then click the end task button. Um, as you can see, all of the Steam processes are now gone. So I will close the task manager, press the Windows key, search for Steam and I will run it again. Now this will restart Steam from scratch. It will look for any updates that are possible, which is also always a good idea to make sure that your Steam installation is up to date. And as you can see, it's now connecting to the network. We'll give it a second to start. And after that, Steam should be good to go. Uh, so we're already logging in and this should be opening up any second now and it's right here let me just bring it back here close all the ads and as you can see steam is working just fine next up a lot of the times uh, what happens is that steam creates download cache to help you get files for a specific game easily and that download cache can sometimes get corrupted which causes problem so to fix that just open steam again uh, click on the steam menu button here head over to settings and in here click downloads as you can see you, this clear cache button is here for the job so just click the clear cache button and it will download your clear cache which can resolve any issues with downloading or starting apps and even steam next up it's important to check whether your network is allowing steam to communicate with the internet so one thing you can do is you can press the start menu search for uh, windows defender firewall this will open up, uh, then click on uh, allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now this will show you the list of all programs on your PC that are allowed to go through the firewall depending whether you are on a private or on a public network. So if I scroll down, I should see Steam in this list. So PQRS, yep, here we go. So as you can see, I have uh, enabled Steam here, so it's allowed but it won't go through any public or private firewalls. So in this case, just click on the change settings button and uh, oh, it's already allowed. So yeah, make sure both of these buttons are checked. It's allowed through private and public settings. Once you're done, click OK, restart your PC and you should be good to go. Uh, this also applies to any other external th or third party free of firewalls or antivirus programs that you may have installed on your system. Just go through them, make sure that Steam is allowed to connect to the internet. If you're on your office or your school network, there is a chance that the network administrator might have disabled Steam's access and in which case you can't really do anything else other than switch the network that you're using. All right, next up, you can try changing your DNS settings to make sure that you can connect 
to the internet better and use Steam at the same time. To do that, press the Windows key and search for Control Panel. Open it up, click on uh, Network and Sharing Center. From there on, click on Change Adapter Settings. Now select the adapter that you're using. I'm using my Wi-Fi, as you can see, the power of girls. That's what my Wi-Fi network is called. Uh, I will double click it. Head over to properties. In here, find internet protocol version 4, TCP IPv4. Double click it again. And in the general tab, just select use the following DNS server addresses. Now I will put Google's and uh, one other free DNS that you can use on the screen. And you can try those or you can use any other DNS server that are free and open source and that you prefer to use. Once you're done setting everything up, just click OK. I'm just going to cancel because I already have my DNS settings in my router. Click OK, close, restart your PC or at least reconnect to the network to refresh things up a little bit and Steam should start working fine. All right, as a last resort, if nothing else works, what you can do is completely uninstall Steam and reinstall it from scratch. So press Windows key plus X uh, to open the quick access menu and click on installed apps. We will give it a second to populate this app list. It can take a while on slower PCs. All right, now I'll search for Steam. And here we go. So click on these three dots, click on uninstall. It will ask you whether you actually want to uninstall everything. Click the uninstall button again, and this will remove Steam from your PC. From this point onwards, you can head over to the official website for Steam and download the client from there. Reinstall it and your problem should be fixed. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more such content can we make for you. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.